<coughs> Hi, everybody. I'm here to talk about Project Parker, um, a project to create a programming language for children, including an integrated development environment to run entirely on a mobile telephone without the intervention of a computer. We've dubbed the product ARIA, and we've targeted it at the 9 to 14 age range. Not so young that they wouldn't be able to program something. Not so old that they'd be better off using a more adult programming language. We've had to target the complexity and the scope of the programming language to match this. And we decided that children probably are most interested in creating simple computer games, but we also wanted to include the facility to create simple applications like a calculator program as an introduction to application programming and to ease them in gently. In order to achieve this, they'd need some facility to build a graphical user interface, and we've made this central to our design. Meanwhile, we've had to respect physical space constraints, with the mobile phone being such a small environment physically, to make sure that screen clutter is kept to an absolute minimum. We selected the event-driven paradigm for our programming languages. This is relatively intuitive. It enables children to program act, um, responses to particular events taking place during runtime. For example, what happens when the button is tapped and how, how the system will respond to that. To minimise the clutter in the GUI builder, which is the centre of our product, we've, used we've made extensive use of context menus. Tapping and holding brings up a list of the different controls that the child can add. Double tapping enables the objects to be configured, and it is here that we allow a small element of object orientation, again, as a sort of introduction to ease children in. Children are able to configure the fields and properties, but they're also able to add their own. By double tapping, they're also able to access the code editor, and this is the um, and this is where they're able to write the, uh, the code to actually make the program do something. We've minimised the amount of writing needed, as typing can be a bit of chore on a mobile telephone, particularly if you have to write a lot. Tapping on blank spaces yields a list of, uh, of options that you can insert in that list, and it's only things that are particularly suited to go there. For example, in the uppermost space next to the plus sign, if you tap that, you'll only be list, you, you will only be able to add integer fields or things that evaluate eventually to an integer. Therefore, every program that you write in this will automatically be type correct. You only have to type to add uh, particular values or name variables. If you get stuck or lost, you can tap and hold one of the command structures and you'll be taken directly to the most relevant part of the most relevant tutorial. And you can also access these from the main menu. We made use of exciting, colourful imagery, simple text and use of careful analogy to, make, to teach general programming language concepts, as well as the specifics of using our product, ARIA. This way, we feel that it's an excellent teaching tool which will help children develop their skills in programming. By building up their code as they do in the code editor, it's very straightforward to construct an analogous parse tree at the back end of the product as they write their code. The parse tree consists of several types of node, which have their own methods for evaluating themselves and their children as appropriate, as well as checking their own structures to ensure that there are no gaps, which is something that the code editor cannot prevent. Also, we, have, we provide a runtime storage system to maintain state. When the program is handed over to the interpreter for execution, it prompts <coughs> all of the parent nodes of all of the different methods attached to each event to begin a structure check to make sure there are no gaps that would damage execution. The debugging facility is extremely intuitive and flags up if there are any gaps and highlights in, in colour where that error is and prompts a child to correct it. If there are no errors, the child's user interface they've designed in the GUI builder is displayed and it begins listening for events. As the child interacts with their program, the interpreter prompts the correct parse tree to fire and their code is evaluated. And this concludes our brief introduction to Project Papa, which we believe will be an effective, exciting teaching aid that children will love to use and learn from. <laughs>